Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Kingdom Pets channel. Today we're going to be looking at the American Staffordshire Terrier, the origin of these breeds, what the health is, and if they shed or not, and also some other interesting facts. So stay tuned. The American Staffordshire Terrier are easy to handle and gentle despite being a dog fighting breed. They are characteristically affectionate, playful and loyal. Although they may be aggressive towards other dogs at times, with proper training and socialization that can be overcome. One of the proper ways of bringing up dogs is that at their early age, to interact them in dog parks, make sure that they are engaging with other human beings, especially alleged children, so that, that as they grow, they are familiarized with that kind of environment. But also make sure that you are seeing your vet and you are not taking your dog to dog parks and interacting with other dogs before the proper vaccination processes. Bred from both English Bulldog and Terrier crosses like the American Pit Bull Terrier, the American Staffordshire Terrier, renamed from Bull and Terrier in 1969, were brought as immigrants to the United States. Compared to their relatives in England, the immigrated dogs became much larger and more powerful. What this means is that the American Staffordshire Bull Terrier is not actually American at all. It actually originated in Birmingham, England and was transferred and migrated to America. And when migrated to America, the breed began to have popularity with the people there and it began to be named the American Staffy. A little difference between the American Staffordshire Bull Terrier and the American Pitbull is that the English breed, the American Staffy, is known to be as much smaller than the American Staffy. In the temperament comparison, we know that the English Staffy is loving in nature and it's more of a watchdog, and at the same time, the American Staffy is closely related to the Pitbull, which is a more aggressive kind of dog, but directly to engage in fights and also to take down game. Moving on to their physical characteristics and what the actual dog looks like, the American Staffy is a dog that is heavy for its size, weighing at about 45 to 70 pounds, which is roughly around 20 to 35 kilos. It stands between 17 to 19 inches tall and the coat is always short and sleek. They have a prominent feature of the face looking a bit bulky and rounded and they have a dominant stand. They're standing very confidently and they usually walk as they own the street. Their ears become prominent and pointy as they grow and they have a wide mouth so it always looks like they are smiling. To look at their exercise in terms of training, the American Staffy is an easy dog to train but does need consistency and discipline from a very young age. They're very affectionate, they're very playful and at times when socialized at a yellow year age with children and other animals at the house they become very affectionate and very playful with the entire household at times they may be difficult with other dogs but then again just make sure you're socializing them and making sure that their dominancy doesn't get too much when they're at the dog park or walking around and their grooming is very low maintenance because they are a short haired breed so all they need to do is just be brushed every now and then and that shouldn't be causing too much trouble moving on to their health notable issues related to health and well-being of the american staffy is congenital heart disease elbow and hip dysplasia and luxating patellia. The congenital heart disease is usually something that happens at birth. Congenital abnormalities of the cardiovascular system are defects that are present at a very young age and usually when the dog is just being born as a pup. They occur as a result of genetic defects, environmental condition, infection, poisoning, medication taken while the mother was still nursing or still pregnant. And some other time is either inherited or something that comes upon the pups when the mother is still nursing them in her womb. The hip dysplasia is the deformity of the hip that occurs during growth. The hip's joint is a ball and a socket joint. During growth, both the ball, the head of the femur or the thigh bone and the socket in the pelvis must grow at an equal rate. So what usually happens is that when they don't grow at a certain rate, the dysplasia is when that hip socket comes out of balance or comes out of the socket which causes a lot of pain and a lot of stress on the dog, usually enabling them from moving their joints freely. Which is very similar to the hip dysplasia and an elbow dysplasia which just means in, in, in layman terms it means a dislocated or something that comes out of the joint. And some interesting facts about the American Staffy is that the American Staffy Child Bull Terrier was actually bred as farmhands because they were such strong and loyal dogs and they used to protect the farm animals in Great Britain in the initial breeding history. Another interesting fact about the American Staffy is that they have the ability to lock their jaws, which is actually not true and it is a myth. No dog breed can lock their jaw. American Staffies are just simply incredibly strong dogs, so when they do latch onto something, it is very hard for them to let go of. And lastly, the American Staffy are often called pit bulls, but that is technically not accurate. The term pit bull is not an actual dog breed. It's an umbrella phrase used to classify a number of dog breeds, including the American Staffy, Terrier, the English Staffy, and sometimes even the American Bulldog. 
These terms are given to them usually because of their background in aggressive dog fights or pit fights, which dogs should not be used to because they are companions and they should be kept at home and safe at all times. So I want to say thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next episode of Kingdom Pets Channel.